clothes. Look at your little pajamas. Almond Aster's skin is improving, but he's still not eating the way he's supposed to be. I mean, it's a big problem because he's not really going to be able to heal properly if he's not eating. Oh, look at your pants. Hi. Oh, buddy. Ooh. Yeah, he just like flinched when I touched him. Oh, buddy. He's very uncertain. He has had such a bad experience with humans, and probably for a very long time. So it is understandable that it's taking him a long time to feel comfortable with us. But that doesn't make it any less frustrating. Well, he just won't eat? He's picky. He's very picky. No? Come here. Come here, buddy. Puppies are usually pretty resilient. They can go through a lot, but they, you know, they bounce back. So seeing this little guy and just seeing how empty he is and just seeing how he's having trouble, you know, wanting to eat, you know, he, he's emaciated. He should be starving. It just shows you not only the amount of physical abuse he went through, but emotional as well. He hasn't even eaten canned food. Really? Yeah. When you have dogs like this, you just want to be able to convey to them that we're here to help. You know, I wish there was just some way to tell him but all we can do at this point is just be patient. You know, when dogs are like physically and emotionally abused, um, uh, that's a good sign. I mean, who knows why he suddenly ate? It could be a matter of several different things, but at this point, I'm just gonna take it for what it is, and that is a huge relief. So cute.